Hey guys, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel where we now have light. Isn't this great? You guys can see my pimples, you can see my pores, you can see the grease on my nose. It's just fabulous. And my chins, as I say that. Uh, so before I start today's video, I would like to give a huge shout out to my friend Nelson over on Craving Capsaicin. I'm so sorry if I said that wrong. <laughs> I'm just trash at pronouncing words. Uh, he is a YouTuber who does the most spicy food things uh not necessarily all challenges but this guy is a total beast when it comes to spicy food he literally makes me look like a baby to anyone who thinks that i'm good with it like this is like the king of spicy food and he has been so wonderful to me and totally like took me under his wing and has really supported me and my channel and helped push uh, my name out there so I would like to give a huge thank you to him because I, it honestly means a lot to me like it's really sweet especially like with small youtubers I feel like I mean I guess I don't really know that many but I feel like it's kind of like hunger games like we all want to like get the followers you know and like really climb to the top so it was really sweet of him to uh, welcome me with open arms to like the not only like the spice community but also the youtube community so I will link his uh, YouTube down below because I don't know how to edit that well yet so I don't know how to like put a little blurb or anything but he is the king of spicy food like goals honestly I hope to one day be that good so today I am going to be trying this is the tomato pasta samyang fire noodles I've never tried these before um I feel like I haven't seen a lot of people do these ones. I don't know if they're just not popular or if people just like people just stick with like the fire ones, and, like the more popular flavors. But um, I don't know how I'm gonna feel about these. <laughs> I think these are the ones that are like I don't know if lipstick got my teeth away. No. Uh, I think these are the ones that are supposed to be kind of like spaghetti <laughs> and like marinara and like I'm pretty sure there is um, textured vegetable protein in here. I could have sworn I saw someone do a video and it has like little meat bits, but it's not actual meat. From what I can see, it contains wheat, gluten, soy, milk, oyster. Oyster is probably the oyster sauce. Unfortunately, that just happens with, you know, a lot of ramen. So I am vegetarian, but I'm not that picky. So yeah, I think we are fine to put both of the packs in i know there's one flavor i think it's the taboki one um that one actually is fish cake so that one i can't put the bits in which is a little boring because it's just like plain noodles but it tastes good anyways i feel like i need to raise my camera a bit so you guys don't get the chin so much she's a little low right now but i also want you guys to see the food uh i'm definitely sitting on my floor right now that's what it is that's the chair i'm usually sitting on this is a desk that would probably be easy to use, but it's against my wall and like I just can't be bothered to drag it to the middle of the floor. Right now, I'll show you guys, I've moved my futon. So like it's covered in junk and I've just moved it over to try and kind of like sit here in front of it. Well, I guess I'm behind it so that I can eat like off of it because I don't really know where else to put my light right now because I either film over there, I film again against the wall so I can't put the light there or like this doesn't work great but I think what I'll try and do is maybe buy like a, a fold out table kind of thing that I can just you know put away when I don't need it and then I can just like set everything up in the middle of my room I guess uh I don't know man I just got the light so you know we are doing the best we can so we're gonna go make these and my lipstick is probably gonna go everywhere uh, I don't know, I haven't worn lipstick in so long and then I had to do one of my photography projects today where we needed a model for a magazine cover and I had no one to ask so I was like okay I'll just you know do my makeup and hair and so I decided to wear lipstick for it and uh, I went to go check my mail and my landlord saw me she's like Sarah you look so nice like are you doing anything are you going out like oh my god girl you look so good and I was just like no I just needed a model and I didn't have anyone to ask so I had to be my own model so I just like you know She's like, oh, you look so good. I don't. Thanks, girl. And then I actually went out for a few hours with Janelle and I kept the lipstick on under my mask. And of course, the inside of my mask was all red and it was like all of here. And so I tried to fix it. I think I think we're okay. <laughs> so that was my oh, I got new nails. Look at those bedazzled beauties. Uh so, anyways, let us go make some food. Okay. 
Hi. So these are not the noodles <gasps> shush, that I was thinking of because these ones actually come with a powder. Um, I definitely remember seeing a video before where someone, and it was like a tomato sauce as well, but it had like little bits of like meat in it. But this one, I can't even open it apparently. This one smells like, like Italian, I don't know, Italian seasoning, I guess, kind of. So I guess this isn't, what was the other one? Does anyone know what I'm talking about? It was like a spaghetti and meatballs one or something. And that's what I thought this one was, but you know, apparently we're just getting some sauce and some uh, powder. So <laughs> it does not want to come out though. It's like not working for me. That's okay. And as always, I like to show you guys that I do actually put the sauce in. If I can open it. I'm just not having luck right now, apparently. This sauce pack is like... Oh, of course, it's all over my hand. The sauce pack seems a lot bigger than... Um, the other sauce box. Unfortunately, I don't have any to like show right now, but I feel like like this is a this is a hefty size, you know. I feel like the other sauce packs are so small. But like this, I'll move it over once I'm done putting the thing in, but this looks like a lot of sauce, you guys, and I honestly don't know what the Scoville is for this, but I will look it up and I will edit it in so we all know. Look at my hand. Ew. <laughs> I, I have chopsticks. I'm going to try and use them, but I think I want to stir with my fork. All right, so there she is. I'm um, not gonna lie, I'm not really digging the smell right now. It is very tomatoey, and like I like tomato sauce. Don't get me wrong, but like I'm definitely like I prefer like an Alfredo or like a bro sauce. Like tomato is just kind of like mm, it really depends what it is. Like obviously I love it on pizza and stuff, but when it comes to pasta, like so I'm a little worried for this one. I don't think it's gonna be my favorite one I've ever tried, but we will find out. So I'm gonna go set it up and we will start eating. All right, so I'm just waiting for this to cool down. As you guys can see, there is steam, and we all know that steam is the death of me. Honestly, I don't know about this one. It smells... Like, I don't want to say it's, some, it's like a familiar smell because, like, it's just marinara, but it's like... There's definitely, like, some pizza joint out there that uses this sauce that I've eaten before because... I totally just thought I had lipstick on my teeth. Um, it's like, <laughs> I don't know, it's familiar. Also, like my riser, that's it's just a bowl. <laughs> I'm gonna have to figure something out because this light is great, but like obviously this setup is pretty jack. Uh, also got my nails done today. She fancy, me and Janelle went and got our nails done. Also, I have chopsticks. So I'm not good at them at all. Uh, my friend uh, Nianna used to try and teach me when I used to go to her house for dinner, but I haven't been there due to uh, me moving, but also the situation of the world. So I haven't used them in so long. Wow, like I can't even grab <laughs> anything, but I guess I'll take the fork out. I'm gonna see if I could actually do it, but I do have a fork here in case. I fail and I totally just dropped a noodle on my floor. So I'm not, don't make fun of me, okay? I'm learning. <laughs> Why can't I do this? Okay. I should have bought those ones that like, y'all. good enough I don't know I should have bought those ones that like you put your finger in and it like 
has the little thing on it so it shows you like where you should put your fingers and basically does everything for you because this ain't working sis okay whatever I have some here <laughs> I can't do this I'm determined though I'm determined I need to learn so like I can do it like this but then when it comes to actually grabbing the stuff okay here ready Ew, did you hear my jaw crack? <gasps> did you guys hear that? Oh my god. I open my mouth, it's like crack. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god, that's steam. Steam is the death of me. My lipstick's probably gonna look crazy after this, huh? I cannot use chopsticks. Here, my mouth. I'll do a bit more, but I don't love them. They don't really taste like fire noodles. Like, there's definitely, like, obviously some sort of spice there because it's Samyang. Like, it's there's not going to not be spice. It's more of, like, that creeping spice. Like, as I've stopped eating now and I'm talking, I can feel it coming. I'm like, I don't know what that guy was doing. But... There's no, like, chicken flavor, obviously. Like, it's tomato pasta, you know? I feel like all the other ones are very chicken-based flavors. I know this is not, I'm, like, totally not using this properly, but it's working. So there's that. knuckle now how the heck did it get on my knuckle can't take her out in public can't even take her home actually i'm gonna wipe this off because it's gonna bother me never mind it's not coming off this stuff like stains like nobody's business um yeah, these aren't really spicy. Like they are, but not really. I 
I keep accidentally eating my hair. Sorry, my nose is running a little bit, but the flavor is not my favorite, honestly. There's nothing really special to it. Probably not gonna finish these, honestly. But y'all know that because everyone knows when I make two packs, I can never eat it all. So is everyone invited, uh, not invited, excited for Christmas or the holidays? Like, are you guys doing anything? I know it might be hard right now because of the, well, my hair, the state of the world. I'm going home for Christmas, but I'm going down for eight days to uh, where my mom is from, which will be good to see her because I haven't seen her since I moved, which was, I haven't seen her in like four months almost. And then I'm also going to see my best friend, but we all like don't see anyone ever. Like we very we much keep it to like the 10 people <laughs> where I live right now. Like it's not really a thing. I think last I checked a few days ago, there's only 12 cases, which obviously like it could get bad again, but right now it's not too bad. And I'm home all the time. Like I don't really go out anywhere. The people I do see here are safe. And I know like my friend Cole, she's safe. My mom's safe. So like won't be too bad. But I'm excited to see them. It's been a while and, you know, I've talked about how it's like lonely up here. So it'll be good to like be around people for like a few days and especially see my mom. Like me and her are really close and this is the longest we've ever gone without seeing each other. We talk like every day, but we oh, Jesus. This one little noodle just went flying. There. <clears throat> so, I already did. I finished all my Christmas shopping early. I actually shipped all of my stuff. I shipped my I shipped my mom's gifts to my friend's house, and my friend's gifts to my mom's house. So I wouldn't have to travel with them. I think I'm just gonna eat this. Honestly, like I'm not digging it. Excuse me. It's not bad. I think a lot of people would like this. And the spice really isn't there. Like, I would say this is probably like the least spicy one I think I've tried. And I've tried almost all of them. I also think my body is just like getting sick of spicy noodles, honestly, because. I was really craving them the other day. Like I wasn't filming or anything. I tried to make them after like two bites. It was like I was full. Do you guys get that? Where it's like you crave it, but your body's just sick of it. So it's like, I don't think we're going to eat this. Mm, I don't know what's on. Okay, lipstick doesn't look too crazy, but I honestly can't wait to take it off. I've had it on all day and it's so dry. So how did I do with the chopsticks, you guys? Am I a professional? Definitely not. But, you know, it's good to practice. Will I ever learn to only make one pack of noodles, not two? We can only hope. Because I never eat them all. You can't really save them either. You can only really save them if you make them, like, uh, in a good soup. Then you can save them. But when they're dry like this, like, you can kind of reheat them, but they're not that good. These ones I'm not going to bother because I'm just not that big on them, but 
Next time I do the noodle video and I decide to think to myself, hey, Sarah, make two packs because it looks good. Just don't do it. I hate wasting food. So, um, yeah, I think that's about it. They're not bad. I think a lot of other people would like them, but they are just not for me. So, anyways. Make sure, like I said in the beginning, make sure you guys go check out my friend Nelson. His link will be down below. Craving Capsaicin. Spice Lord. And until next time. Uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, awkward. Bye. <laughs>